that's what he wants, but it's kind of spooky. Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful fall day here in Southern California. We only get them like once or twice during the season, so I am enjoying it. I'm actually wearing my new sweater that I showed you guys here. I'll show you. It's so cute and I love it. it actually has like the little holes. It's from Free People, but I got it at the Naval Exchange. But I'm enjoying this fall weather. I think I'm gonna actually go shopping and buy a few things that I need to get. I also wanted to go to the mall maybe, but that's kind of crowded. Or Nordstrom Rack, Petco, and to get Justin's Christmas stuff ready. I wanna get his care package started putting together. So I'm at the post office to pick up a box and then go buy some stuff that I wanna put inside and then I'll start ordering his gifts today, which I'm gonna send. But again, small gifts, nothing big. But it's gonna be a fun day. It's a fall, beautiful fall. Did I say fall? It's fall, I love it. <laughs> okay, I picked up his Christmas stuff. These are the few of the things that I'm gonna put in his package. We will see if it comes to life the way I'm envisioning it. How cool are these lanterns? I like this one and this one, but I don't know where I'd put them. And I like that little one down there. Those are so cool. What? He's sitting here whining at my feet. Am I not paying enough attention to you? I know, I know. I actually got really mad at him this morning because if you cannot tell, it just started bleeding again. He bit my face this morning. I was laying on the couch and he just probably got so excited he came up to me. I need to clean this up. He came up to me and he was just so excited to see me that he just jumped up and like bit my face and it hurt. And I was so upset because, ow, because it really did hurt and I feel like a wimp, but like those little tiny puppy teeth hurt. Um, but yeah, I know it'll take a few months just to go away and I've been, <laughs> he's playing with mister. I've been trying really hard to get him to knock it off, but I think it's just something that puppies are gonna do until they pass that stage where they're over their teething, just like babies, but man, that hurt. I was not very happy with him, but now they're being cute playing again, so I can't stay mad at him. <laughs> Okay, I just finished my lunch, and this is from the HelloFresh box as well. It's the mushroom ravioli. I'm not too sure what I'm going to think, but I'm going to try it. But I'm super hungry. Catching up on Phil and Alex, saying hi to cute pepper. So two things I am going to order for Justin for Christmas, which are kind of weird because they're like Halloween themed for Christmas presents, but he really wants the It book. Like, that's his favorite movie, and so he wants to read it, so I'm going to order him that and the movie Annabelle Creation because it comes out on DVD. So I need to get him some more gifts that are not so scary because <laughs> I feel like those are like not really great Christmas gifts but it's what he wants. So I'm like, okay, that's what you want and he'll be able to actually use them while he's out so it makes sense. <gasps> Do you hear my wind chimes? I love that, it's so windy today. But yeah, I need to find him some other gifts because that's what he wants but it's kind of spooky. All right, let's go potty, come here. Hey, Let's go potty. Over here. Good boy. Good boy, you're so good. I have been home for a few hours, but I think I'm gonna run out to Target and then to the dollar store really quick because I was on YouTube, duh, watching Ellie Meekum's Thanksgiving bread rolls and they sounded so good and the recipe doesn't look too hard, but it's more complicated than I would expect it to be um, for something that I could do, but I wanna try it because they looked so good and maybe I'll make them for Thanksgiving when I'm with my family. Um, but I wanna test it first. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to Target because I saw that they had their cookie sheets, like the really big ones on sale, and then I'm gonna get a big bowl from the 99 cent store because I don't need like a fancy one, just need a big one. Get one of those, get the yeast. I have all the other ingredients. He's being so sweet. I feel bad leaving him. I wish I could take him with, but I'm gonna go do that because that sounds really good right now and I wanna try it. You wanna try some bread with mom? No, you gotta go in your crate. I'll be back in just a little bit though. You guys, my dog has figured out when I'm leaving and so he runs away from me when I start to like be like, come on, but let's go upstairs. I have to show you if he'll do it. All right, but let's go upstairs, come on. Let's go in the crate. No, we gotta go upstairs, come on. Come on, we gotta go in the crate. Bo, we're going, <laughs> we're going in the crate. Come back, no, I know, you're so cute. It's time to go in the crate. All right guys, I got my stuff. Let's do this. So I'm just leaving the store and I go to put the shade up because the sun's not in my eyes anymore and this is what I see. This is an ultrasound picture from when I was just seven weeks pregnant that he had had tucked up here to keep 
that made me cry just because he is just the best daddy in the world and I can't wait to be able to see him do it all over again. Okay, I've got all of my ingredients here, the exact ones that Ellie and her mom use. I'm really hoping that these turn out because if they do, maybe I can make them for Thanksgiving. I think I already told you guys that, but I really hope that they turn out well. I even got this giant bowl from my mind sense store. I'll let you guys know how it goes because I'm not the best cook in the world, but I'm gonna try it. I did change out of my sweater so that I wouldn't get it dirty, but here's how it's coming along so far. I'm letting it sit for about 15 to 30 minutes and then I'm gonna knead it and then let it rise for I think she said one to two hours. So it's gonna be a long process. It's about five o'clock so they won't be ready till the evening time, but that's perfect because that's when I will be eating dinner. But I'm so excited. I am actually doing it so far. It looks decent. It doesn't look terrible. So yay, win for Rochelle. Time to knead some dough. Okay, you guys, I think it's good to go. Now I let it sit for one to two hours and let it rise, and then I can put them in the oven. I have to find a spot to put them because Ellie said she puts them in a warm spot, but the sun is already basically down, so I might have to put it like in the microwave. Uh, no, that's stupid. Maybe under a lamp? I'll find somewhere to put it, but two hours now. Okay, I decided to put it under the light that comes from the microwave and let it go for now two hours. All right, the dough has risen so high, it's time to grease that pan up with this Crisco and put it in the oven. Okay, you guys, I'm about to put them in the oven. The oven is just preheating at 375. Look how good they look so far. I am so proud of myself and so hopeful that these turn out good tonight. Okay, you guys, they are not nearly as beautiful as Ellie and her mom's, but I made the biscuits. I'm so excited. Well, not biscuits, rolls. I'm so excited I haven't eaten one yet because they're still super hot, but I just want to say that I'm proud of myself because this was a lot of work and something that I would not normally take on, but I did it, and now maybe I can make them for Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. <laughs> you want one too, I know, and you. I also seriously have so much dough left over this whole thing of dough left over, so I might try and make her cinnamon rolls next time. Watch out, buddy. So, oh my gosh, so good. That is amazing. Thank you, Ellie, for the recipe. I think I will be making these for years to come. Justin's definitely gonna wanna try these when he comes home, too. He loves homemade bread, so this is amazing. I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna try our biscuits and gravy recipe next time, because if they're all this good, I have to. His little nub tail gets so excited when we play. <laughs> sit. Can you show them how good you're learning? Bo, sit. Good boy. Who's a smart pupper? You are. You are. Okay, well, I'm going to be ending the vlog for the night. It was a nice day getting the bake and do stuff. One sec, you probably can't hear me because I have the office on, of course. But yeah, it was a nice day. Got to stay home, got to relax, got to bake, got to hang out with this pup and that kitty. It's just nice and it's good to, times when you like are able to fill your time to pass the time, basically. If I'm not careful, he's going to bite my face again, so I gotta watch him, but it's just a nice day getting to hang out and relax and to bake, and I think I wanna try a few more of her recipes. I think I have all the ingredients necessary <laughs> to make her biscuits and gravy, so I think I'm gonna try and make those tomorrow for her breakfast. Do you guys eat biscuits and gravy for breakfast, or do you eat them for lunch? I feel like they're both, I, I don't know, I would eat them for both. I would eat them for breakfast, or I would eat them for lunch or dinner. Like, I would eat them any time of the day because they're biscuits, but anyways, I'm in the vlog because he, is going crazy right now, so I think I need to get his energy out. But yes, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I don't really have that many plans this weekend. I was supposed to go to Universal Haunted Horror Nights, which would have been fun, but it seems like too far of a drive for me after the accident this week. Just don't want to be in the car that long again. So I canceled that, but I'm going to try and fill my time to do something else. But we love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.